hopefully people watch and listen to the opinion of some guy that they've never seen. I have a pretty controversial opinion. Um, not really. Um, but I do have this to say. I think Tekken 8 is going to be the best Tekken to date. Some people are on the side of, yeah, no kidding. It's, it seems like an awesome game. Uh, there are some takes that people don't think that it's going to be much different than Tekken 7. I've heard uh, many opinions that it's going to be Tekken 7.5. Tekken 8 is going to be the best Tekken that we have. And there's many reasons behind that. I don't really think that Tekken is ever going to recreate uh, an atmosphere that they did in previous installments. The first five Tekken games had their own unique atmosphere. Uh, with Tekken 6, it was technically like a Tekken 5 with better lighting, better graphics, and a balance system, this, that, and the other. Uh, Tekken Tag 2 was Tekken 7 Beta, the Tekken 7 Beta really was Tekken Evolution. That was the Tekken 7 beta. And then you get Tekken 7, and then finally they now upgraded to Tekken 8. Let's use Tekken 4 as an example. Uh, a lot of people like Tekken 4, and for good reason, just the atmosphere of it. I mean, gameplay-wise, it's kind of broken. It's probably the most broken Tekken of all time. It's, it's as broken as the PS2 game The Bouncer in terms of combat. I mean, it's actually kind of ridiculous. Uh, but Tekken 4 has, hands down, the most unique atmosphere. It almost feels like you're playing in a shopping mall. It's it, To me, it feels like a Tekken game that you should only play in the arcades, not one that you have like as like a home game. Tekken 3 was awesome because it was a game that you could bring to your home and you didn't have to go to the arcade to get that arcade experience. Uh, but with Tekken 4, I mean, it was the same way with Tekken 4. Um, but it just ha still had that atmosphere of like, you're in the arcade playing Tekken 4, and the stages kind of represented that. The mall stage in Tekken 4 reminds me of the smell of the food court in a major shopping mall. I don't know why, but it does, because I've been in an arcade with Tekken 4, and it just has that ambiance. That's what it is, it's ambiance. And I think a lot of people that are really craving that new atmosphere of Tekken. Some people were disappointed that it doesn't have a brand new atmosphere. And I'll say that it it really has just an updated atmosphere that Tekken 7 already presents. And that's not a bad thing. Tekken 7 is unique in terms of style and ambiance, I guess. It's okay. Like, it's okay. Yambiance is okay. Honestly, I think Tekken 7 should have looked the way that Tekken 8 currently looks. And again, like, there was almost like... The real gameplay of Tekken 8 um, doesn't really reflect the trailer. The trailer seemed very unique. The trailer seemed like almost realism. I have a fantasy that there's going to be a Tekken game that's going to be super realistic. And like... The fighting is just going to be like grounded and based in reality. And then, but you know, before I know it, after seeing the trailer of Tekken 8, they release actual gameplay and then more trailers, and it seems to be the opposite of that. What's done is done. Seems very anime more anime. It's kind of the opposite of Tekken 4. But it's not a big deal. I mean, I think it's still going to be, gameplay-wise, it's still going to be very solid. And considering games that are out today, I mean, look at Street Fighter 6. People like to ignore Street Fighter 5 because it was, like, trash. It had, like, a clean art style, but they downgraded from Street Fighter 4. Uh, but with Street Fighter 6, they kind of went left field and went more graffiti, more street look, and they did it on the RE engine, which is so fucking weird. It's the most uncanny looking character models of all time. The RE engine just 
is disastrous. Have you seen the Resident Evil facial expressions times a thousand? I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now. It's the same engine that they that they made the remix of Resident Evil with. It is, this is what they made Street Fighter 6 with. And it's just so odd to look at. It makes me feel uncomfortable. The game is solid. It's a solid game. And I think with the state of games and the way they look now, like with new Mortal Kombat, new Street Fighter, and there's all the fundamentals, but then there's the updated stuff. It's like the next generation. It's literally PlayStation 5 Tekken. It's not... It's not as... And again, it's not going to be as big and drastic as the arcade ported into the home system as it was in 1997 or 1998 um it's not that big of a deal it's not like tech and tag looks better on playstation 2 than it does in the arcade it'll never be that way again and that's why i say that it's going to be the best tekken game because it legitimately does have bits and pieces that that make you think like okay um i'm kind of a tekken snob but i'm seeing stuff that's like Okay, this is definitely going to be a baller game in 2025, for sure. For sure, it's going to be the best game in 2025 for fighting games. And it might be the case with that. It might take a couple years. Um, it might take a couple updates. Lay needs to be in the base game, for Pete's sake. What are you doing, Bandai Namco? Bandai Namco? Namco, come on. You're going to take Lay out of the main roster for two games? Two games! They took him out of the main roster for two games. That's a shame. That's a disappointment to... Jackie Chan. I mean, you made Law look more like Bruce Lee than he ever has before since Tekken 3. He went from looking like Bruce Lee to more his nationality look in Tekken 4 and 5. And on Tekken 8, you're going to make him look more like Bruce Lee than he's ever looked. And then you're going to take out Jackie Chan. Lay. You tell me I'm going to have to pay $5 to play as Lay? They better be getting Jackie Chan's face scan <laughs> for for his DLC in Tekken 8. Kind of like they did with the UFC with Bruce Lee, but they're gonna do it with, they're gonna, they should do it with Jackie Chan for Tekken, for Tekken 8, for Tekken 8, for Tekken 8. They better do Jackie Chan's face scan. Shanghai Noon. I want the Shanghai Noon outfit for Tekken 8 Lei. Howdy partner. Howdy partner. And where's Bruce? He's been out of the game for, for two games now. Is that racist? Keep it up, kid. It's not racist. I mean, we got Raven back. Isn't that sexist? For taking out Master Raven to put in regular Raven? Alright, I'm getting lost in the sauce. They're all going to be DLC characters, and I'm going to have to pay 40 bucks per character because it's an updated game, and the games are now $70 nowadays, and that's just pissing me off. But to conclude this mild rant, uh, Tekken 8 will be the best Tekken to date. Um, it's going to be better than Tekken 7 for sure. It's for sure going to be better than Tekken 7. It's really hard to top Tekken 7. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you could top that shit. I I don't know if you guys re started replaying Tekken 7 after seeing Tekken 8 footage and a lot of it, but Tekken 7 is about to get real outdated real quick this upcoming January. That's all I got to say. I don't care how broken Tekken 8 is at launch. Tekken 7 still, it felt dated the first day I played it. I, uh, I'm not going to lie that uh, if I didn't think that you know, not only did Tekken Tag 2 have more features, but Tekken 6 had more features, and Tekken 5 had more features, and an entire separate game mode. Uh, it had a little bit more features than Tekken 4. Tekken 4 was pretty basic. Um, but Tekken 3 uh, actually had more game modes than Tekken, Tekken 7 at launch. So, it's an outdated game. Tekken 8's where it's at. That's all I got to say. Oh, and the music, my god! They're never, ever, never going back to that type of music.
don't know why. It holds up today. People want to go wah, 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 wah. And live commentaries. If you can't go wah, 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 wah. While you're commentating Evo, then there's no point to even have a soundtrack that sounds good. Jesus. Lord Mishima, please help me. Where's Heihachi?